peace, love, and light. Thank you for everyone for tuning into another La La Divine video. So, it's been a minute. Pray all you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> but it's almost 1 o'clock at night. The whole house is sleeping peacefully. We've been preparing all day, getting ready for the work week and school and just getting back into routine. And it's kind of nice. Um, it reminds me of having stability and that was something that I prayed heavenly for in the past. So to see it in its full manifestation really just uh, humbles me and makes me grateful for my life thus far. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for your likes, shares, subscribes. Uh, all my newbies, thank you guys for, um, you know, y'all support. I appreciate y'all. So, this is another blackout message, and I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. Um, I wasn't going to do a message tonight. I mean, I felt led to, but I, like I said, I'm getting ready for the work week, and I was like, I'll record this week sometime, but... God nudged my heart twice for this reading, and I just, I'm just going to go and get it out there, be obedient. So, um, again, as y'all know, this is a blackout message, so um, it's going to be some tea. So today, what we're going to talk about is everybody cannot go with you. Um, you can take that in a literal sense. You can take that in a... Well, I guess there's only one way to take it. <laughs> only one. Everybody can't go with you. So I'm um, guessing this is going to be a divine feminine message. So um, I feel like um, what God wants me to s spread to you guys and share to you guys is a lot of you guys have been, you know, working on yourself. Y'all been um, doing y'all shadow work. You guys have been, you know, dealing with your insecurities and um, learning your triggers and learning, you know, what things you need, what things you like, what things you don't like. You guys are becoming more specific on in those areas. Um, I don't know, you're just in this real grounded energy. Like, you're taking your spirituality very seriously now. So, that's a good thing. Um, but, at times, it can be challenging. Um, number one, they say spirituality is a lonely place. Um, you get to a place where um, you get mocked, you get talked about, you get, um, you know, penalized for, um, you know, being happy. You know, people don't understand your struggle and the things that you went through, so they don't they don't understand. So it's hard for them to relate to you. But like I said, a lot of my divine feminines is just going through. A period where they're working on their self. They're doing the healing they need to do. And um, it's a bit lonely. It's challenging. You feel like you don't got the support. Some of you guys are starting businesses. Some of you guys are uh, creating new things, starting a new job, a new relationship. However this resonates. But um you just feel alone. You feel not supported. You feel like, um, you know, people are against you just because you are just doing what you love, you know? Um, and whether you're on a social media platform or you're of service to people, it's just, I feel like, again, some of my divine feminines are just in this challenging energy where it's just like, what's the use? What's the point? Um, nobody understands I know I get discouraged at times when my numbers don't grow or I don't have a lot of viewers, but then, like, God checks me and says, well, it's not about the viewers or the numbers. It's about who you helped, about who you touched in a way that, you know, somebody else couldn't. You are your own self. You're unique. Nobody can do what I sent you to do, so you have to keep doing it no matter what happens. No matter what the numbers say, no matter what the views say, you got to keep pushing. Um, no matter if people tell you you can't do it, you got to keep pushing. But anyway, the point of the matter is, is there's a lot of people that you may have rocked with. Friends, family, 
lovers, associates, whatever you call it, that you've been rocking with and now you just feel as though um, you're going to have to leave some people behind. Um, You know, some people aren't ready to elevate. Some people are, you know, they don't know how. Let me not say it in a negative sense because some people can get it, some people don't. You know, some people need a little boost, a little help. Um, That's why I like to do tarot because sometimes it kind of helps me point in the direction that I need to go, whatever I need to work on because we can become so clouded that we don't know what we need to start with. Have you ever said, okay, I'm going to work on healing. Where do I start? And then you're like, well, I don't know. And then you just forget about it altogether. Well, now, Divine Feminine, you're in this energy where you have no choice. (laughs) You have to get it together. So um, you're having to leave some people behind. That's hard for you. I sense that you're a person who needs the validations of another person around you to make you feel like you're accomplishing something or doing something right. Um, But that can stunt your growth. That can stop you from moving forward um, in in the pace that you need to go. Um, A lot of times we allow people around us to, um, you know, dictate our journey, you know what I'm saying? Because they may feel a little uncomfortable about how it goes, you know. Sometimes you sit back a little bit, you compromise. And I feel like just guys are saying you got to get out that energy. You got to keep pushing forward. There's a divine purpose. Not saying, you know, push everybody away and tell them F y'all. I'm living my life type thing and y'all do y'all. But just on the strength, like there's people that's worth willing to sacrifice for at times. And then there's people that you're going to have to just, you know, uh, what did Ariana Grande say in her song, Magic? She said um, something like, I lost a lot of friends. Now I just send them love and light. You know, it's no hard feelings. I don't wish bad for you. I don't want you to suffer. I don't want any of that. I just send you love and light and I'm going to keep going this way because I'm on a journey. I'm on a mission, you know, and obviously where God has taken me, we can't go together at this moment. So it is what it is. And I just think a lot of you guys are having a hard time with that. Um, some of you guys have been praying for a new tribe. You know, you want people who are more uh, like you, uh, more spiritual. You know, somebody who you can sit and, you know, tell your life about with no judgment. And you can laugh and, you know, joke and, you know, talk serious and all that type of stuff. But you're calling in your tribe. And in order for your tribe to come in, you got to let some people go. And that's just the reality. But it is what it is. And I pray that God gives you the discernment on who needs to stay and who needs to go. But, you know, just know that everybody can't go with you. (laughs) Period. Point blank. Um, And don't feel bad about it. Like I said, just send them on their way with love and light. But, yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys because a lot of times, you know, you just need to hear that whatever's going on in your life, it's okay. You know, just keep moving. Keep, you know, keep trucking. Keep pushing forward. Keep allowing God to, um, you know, to, to push you. Keep allowing him to guide you on the way that you should go. Our goal should be to be divinely guided, period, point blank. So that's all I have for you guys today. I thank you. I pray this message touched somebody and just know everybody can go. So it is what it is. Send them on their merry little way. Or, hey, they might change their mind. Who knows? But just know that, you know, where you're going is sacred. You got work to do. You got a purpose. So, you know, it's that's what's more important. So just keep focused on that, and you will continually be blessed. Period. Point blank period. So just wanted to send that out. Love you guys. I will be to the fresh new week. I am planning on incorporating some tarot while I'm babysitting, you know, to 
you know, give y'all some videos because it's been a while. I'm just trying to balance everything out. But y'all get it. I know y'all do. So, anyway, I love you guys. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.